welcome to the channel guys so if you haven't subscribed to the channel then you gotta this way yeah you gotta click on that subscribe button you know and give us, us give us a like if you think this is of some value and we shall get going immediately where's my mouse all right here we are raj malhotra you know this name raj malhotra is so weird yeah, has some some sort of a uh, one of those that guy who does this kind of a thing <laughs> okay uh cheesy one i'm 26 at 475 planning to study in canada which would be the best province for pr after study manitoba or ontario or anywhere else i have also subscribed to your channel well because you've subscribed to the channel thank you so much okay to answer your question mostly all rather most of the provinces have some or the other program which would give uh, a lot of benefit to the people who have studied in that province or who have who are working in that province uh, i think there are provinces which give a lot of preference to people who have studied in that province and worked in the province there is always a program there which will give them some way out uh, because you are at 475 already and the fact that you plan to study in canada now but studying in canada i mean the least you could get would, would be 15 points if you are studying through a dli which would shoot your score up to what 490 uh, you are 26 which basically means for the next three years your scores are not going to change because of uh, your age you're pretty safe to apply through federal programs so that is not a problem uh, so you don't have to worry about the best province for pr i think you're pretty pretty uh, you know, you're pretty straightforward. Uh, I need help. My CRS is 475. Is there any hope for ITA? You know, if at 475, you were going to say I need help, that becomes very, very difficult to answer because, hey, 475 is pretty good. And uh, what kind of help would you want at 475? As of right now, the draws are not happening. They haven't conducted uh, any draws since the 23rd of December 2020 when the score was at 468. Considering that particular draw, you would say 475 is pretty safe. But the way the number of invitations are being issued, which was about 3,000 each, uh, uh, I mean, each draw now that we are seeing under CEC, it's a bit concerning because the, the number of profiles that are there in the express entry pool. And just let's take a look, you know what? Right. So this is the page for your uh express entry draws as and how they happened and as we scroll down here and this is as of august the 16th 2021 so it's obviously the most recent and current there are a total of 170,836 people which is a lot of people now considering 3,000 people received an invitation now we could say that this is not 167 but as we also know that more and more people join the pool every single day and a lot of people get upgraded in their scores between 451 and 500 itself there are 36362 people above the score of 501 there are 2524 people let's not count 601 because those would get their pnp you know invitation so we cannot we, we don't want to count that so between 36 and 30 uh, and 2500 you have 38000 people above the 451 score now let's let's go down further into 471 above this is the segment which is concerning most people all right so this is roughly what 15 16 17 almost 20000 people above the range of 471 are sitting here 20000 people if they are going to issue only 3000 ITAs per draw this is going to be very difficult till it comes to 471 already also considering that each week i mean every single day more and more people will continue to enter the express entry pool they will sort of either improve their scores they will you know upgrade their profiles so this 471 to 480 481 to 490 491 to 500 and so on and so forth you have nearly 19000 18 and a half 19000 profiles so even if ircc was to conduct six consecutive draws even then that 471 doesn't seem to be hitting if they were doing the draws of 3000 profiles you know because if there are 18000 profiles in the pool above 471 or in that range even if they were to do six draws of 3000 each okay uh, the scores are not going to come into 471 and similarly 475 is your score you're also looking at a, a tough one it all depends when they start doing the draws, number one, when, when, when will they start conducting the draws, number one. Number two, what is the size of the draw, how many ITAs are issued, that will define 
what the scores are going to be high low how frequently the scores are going to be i mean how frequently the draws happen how will the points drop all this will will have a combination of variables here if you have a possibility of improving your scores by way of adding something with your ielts as in you might be at clb9 you could probably look at clb10 so you are at 475 if you're at clb9 which probably means you are of the age 29 below master's degree three years so you have a clb9 in two factors clb10 in two factors that's how you would come to 475 i'm, I'm just assuming the profile you could therefore have a possibility of getting CLB 10 in the other two factors, making your score or coming up, bringing up your score to 481 possibility with 481. Then you know that, you know, you are pretty much in that, in that high range score. And therefore in one to two draws, you should be able to get through with that. But as of right now, with the way the things are, and I don't want to scare you and create a panic with this, but it is what the numbers are saying. It's not me who's saying it. It's the numbers. The draws have not happened for eight months now. Okay. It's a long time. It has never happened before in the history of Express Entry. But then Express Entry history is only six years old. It's not, it's not like it's been there forever kind of a thing. Uh, and this COVID, obviously, the pandemic has been unprecedented. So the situation as of right now is concerning in terms of the score and the points and the draws. I wish that they conduct the draws as soon as possible, because the longer they are taking, the more and more difficult it's going to become in terms of who is going to get to the point where they will get an invitation easily. I would strongly suggest if you're in the 470s range that you could look at options, whether it's PNP, if you get through, uh, improving your scores, adding French. And if at all you think you want to come to Canada to study, then you could also explore that route. Uh, but yeah, PNP, French obviously are much better options at this point of time, considering that you could quickly add points for French. How can you add points for French quickly? Because it takes so much of time learning a new language. Am I being stupid? Am I sort of, you know, speaking out of where? In French, if you were to sort of uh, get high proficiency points in all the factors, it's going to be very difficult because it's a new language. It takes time to sort of get a grasp of the language. But if you concentrate only on speaking and listening, the two factors which are comparatively easier. And I know of people who were able to score high proficiency points in speaking and listening in a span of three to four months. Okay. Uh, there is a possibility you can add three points, three point six points for these two factors itself. Uh, so it's it's worth giving it a shot. If you are sitting in the four seventies range, you need those extra five six points to bring you up on the on the more on, on the more uh, range or on a more reachable range where you'll be able to secure an invitation. Well, that's something you can give it a shot to. Thank you so much for joining in. If you're still not following us on Instagram, please do. If you want to book an appointment, then that's the link. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will hopefully uh, see you next time. Take care. All the best.